I would like to talk about when you when did you know and when did you find out that they weren't going to bring you back so take us through your side of things what happened and kind of give us a little not not whatever you feel comfortable talking about the floor mm -hmm. is yours brother what happened uh, and what led you to retire okay so i talked to my agent i said hey man i haven't heard from winnipeg uh do you want to, can we reach out to him he said yeah no problem so he reaches out to them uh i won't put any names uh, even my agent or anybody's name in there but he reaches out to somebody at winnipeg and they text back they tell him hey uh we'll get back to you in a couple weeks because they're trying to deal with Dave brady and dalton and that's what we were told that was the biggest thing everybody else comes after brady and dalton so okay okay that's their priority cool cool i would love i didn't hear this from them this is what i heard from social media and whatnot so i'm trying to figure it out I'm trying to see i'm like okay cool so time goes by it's about a month and a half or so and i'm getting ready to go to thailand and i leave for thailand on monday uh i told my agent probably a week before that hey if winnipeg hits hits us up like let them know like i'm not trying to negotiate in thailand i don't think what was going on was very respectful. I think that me not hearing anything and seeing Stanley get signed, seeing, I forgot who else got signed, Chris Kolonkowski, other guys that getting signed, but I hadn't even heard anything. I didn't think it was right. And I loved the, my boys, Chris and Stanley, and they were still reaching out to Yoshi and still hadn't heard anything. Ricky Walker hadn't heard anything. So I'm like, Hey, let's test this window out. Like, it's uh might as well if they're not showing me love like they're showing it they they don't appreciate me mm -hmm. i'm underappreciated there and what undercompensated mm -hmm. and that's how i feel that's how i feel in my opinion i was undercompensated and underappreciated there i mean despite the injuries i'm still a dog and still giving you giving you good games and putting you in a position to win the cup right so i think that i i what I put out there was was worth being talked to. Even if you're not going to bring me back, tell me. So I never even heard that I wasn't coming back. That's not what I ever heard uh, until, yeah. Anyways, we'll keep going and I'll tell the rest. So Friday, before that Monday that I'm going to Thailand, I'm getting ready to go. Um, my agent says, hey, Winnipeg, hit us up. They just asked how much you want and what you're interested in. And so my agent said, like, we're not feeling out here. This is not what we're doing. We're going to go. He tells them we're going to go to the window. We want to we want to do the free agency window and see what's going on and mm -hmm. see what's out there. Because obviously we're not getting the same respect here as I feel like we deserve. So we're like, OK, go in the window. I go on my trip to Thailand. Mm -hmm. Great trip. So much fun. Didn't really worry about any of that stuff. So the window hits. I don't hit. Uh, I can't remember. It was at 12 o'clock. So there in Thailand, it was 12 o'clock uh, or 12 o'clock Eastern time, which would have been 12 a.m. in the morning. Uh, yeah, uh, in Thailand. So, yeah, it's 12 hours ahead. Oh, my God. Yeah, so it was, the time was different. So I'm like, I don't hear anything. I wake up that morning, the next morning, and I don't, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to text my agent. I just want to enjoy my time. Mm -hmm. And so I guess it was like at night. It was nighttime because it was uh, like 9 o'clock in the morning in Thailand for me, mm -hmm. and he's on central time. So I think 9 o'clock in the morning is 8 o'clock central time, so 8 p.m., and so he texted me and was telling me who was interested. Calgary had hit him up and BC had hit him up. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. Like, what's up? What are they talking about? And they were talking prices. And it was a pay cut. It was a pay cut. Like, it's like, like 20, 30K pay cut. And I'm like, yo, that's like my bottom. That would be the bottom that I come back for. 
Okay, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. So, so, so the I'm, 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 I'm gonna add this if that's okay. The, the notion behind going playing for Winnipeg. If I'm right, let me know. If I'm wrong, let me know. The, the rumor innuendo is you come to Winnipeg and you take a pay cut to win a Grey Cup. Is that true? I mean, you said it great. You said it great. They don't say it like that, but we they always say that you're going to make it back by going to the Grey Cup and getting paid. But it, it, would you say that's kind of uh, I've, I've always felt like with Winnipeg and the, reg, the regime, regime, however you say it, it's 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 Belichick craft esque where you know you're not going there to get paid big bucks. But you know if you go there, you're going to be in for NFL players like the AFC Championship. They don't play just to go to the AFC Championship. The expectation is we're going to win the Super Bowl. We got Brady. We got other pieces. In your guy's case, you got Zach. You also got Brady. You got Dalton. You got Sheed. You've got Teddy freaking Lawler. And I love yeah. Kenny. Shout out to Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. Kenny's a G. You know, I have no Shout out to Kenny. my boy. Shout out to Kenny. K-Law. Big play law, man. And, uh, and on defense, you got Big Hill, which, funny enough, I didn't know Adam Big Hill is from my neck of the woods. So that, and he's won three defensive player of the years. It's, it, I didn't Montesano? know that. He's at, that Montesano is like two hours south from where I am. It's crazy. Okay. And, you know, and then you got Demario, you've got Brandon, you got obviously Big uh, Willie, you got Big Five, and then there's you. So you know, oh, and Yoshi and Stanley and all the guys, I could go down the list. You can keep you, going. You've got you've got a team around you. So you're gonna the expectation is after the the, the run y'all have been on, which we haven't seen a run like this, I think probably since Calgary in the 90s or at the Edmonton days when they had Warren Moon. So it's Warren like Moon, that thing. Oh psh, come on now, man. Come on. <laughs> we, we're talking real foot that Houston Oilers. But anyway, <laughs> so is is that is true? Said it's true. Did you feel you said it was felt like it was? That's my bottom right there. Did you take that? You took it MJ esque. I took that personal. <laughs> uh, I was on vacation, so I was still in like chill mode. Yeah. But I did realize like, okay, that's as low as I'm going. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not gonna go any lower. And so, I think a day went by. I tell my agent like, hey. See what BC or Calgary's talking about. Cause I saw that Ricky had agreed to terms there. Mm. I'm like, yeah, me, Ricky. Mm. We call it Demario, aka Spoon. Mm -hmm. We can all play there together. And then uh a couple of my young bulls are over there. It's a couple of my young boys are at uh at Calgary too. So I was like, this would be fun. With Micah, and, with Micah and Cam, um, and shout out to Micah, he's coming on this weekend, uh, the, on so, D But yeah, that's whoo, y'all together. That's mm, that's a that's a blitz, and it's a blitz heavy defense. Mm. Yeah, and then I still got some good ends too. Like that's the thing. Like mm. other good ends to play with, it'd be fun. So I was, I was like, I was thinking about it like that. That could be a good situation. It's cheap. It's not. It's not what I what I want. But like, I'll take I'll take the low to to finish out my last year mm -hmm. so you and knew so, already this last you like you said this was your last your last dance you're going west you already kind of had in your mind hey i'm going west here's way yeah. okay yeah so listen listen to this so yeah my agent hits them up they're like hey uh that offer is off the table that's how he told me i don't know what they said but that offers off the table and we're like huh calgary didn't make sense it didn't seem like it like they already got guys so yeah, I don't know if they were just reaching out to get a feeler, mm -hmm. but I'm like, okay, cool, cool. So we got BC, and Yoshi hits me up, and he's like, hey, Sass is interested, bro. Mm. He's like, man, give us a chance, bro. I was like, hey, man, for the right price, I'll come. And he's like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Make sure it makes sense for you and your family, but would love to play with you again. And I was like, hell yeah, we could do this thing. And mm -hmm. them boys were getting some work. Like, hey, it would be like that time to make it right in Regina. <laughs> you know they hate me there. We, we well, they, hey, well, there's a they lot. They hate of, me there. Mm, hell, you know they they don't like a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's fine though. That's fine though. All they, they are fanatics. That's what. That's why it's fans. Mm -hmm. Fanatics. And so I think they think I'm a dirty player. Which hey, 
they can think that all they want. I just play hard. I mean, the same reason why y'all think Pete Robertson was dirty for what he did at LDC, but that's neither here nor there. I never thought that was dirty, but uh, uh, he, just, he got it. He got excited. And but anyways. thank you. That's all I was saying. <laughs> Come that's, on, man. That's another one. Of, uh, Texas boy. Yeah. Hey, so hey, y'all making y'all creating creative players out there in Texas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So. So what happened is SAS came on the scene. They were offering uh, kind of similar to what everybody else was. And BC's over here telling us, hey, we're going to um, – we are – we'll compete with anybody. We'll compete with anybody that has a, that offers. Like, we want to compete. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, cool. You want to compete? Let's do that. And so we get our offer from SAS and show uh, BC. They're like, oh, that's a little too high. Oh, that's a little too high. That's like 20, 30K more than we wanted to. F I was like, boy, stop. Like, <laughs> I'm not about to go to this team for that. I know how much I put into my body. I know how hard I work. I know what I bring to a team. You're not getting me for cheap. Mm -mm. I'm just, I'm keeping it a buck. You're not getting me for cheap. So um, they said that SAS ends up getting Malik Carney. They got him for 20K less than they were, they were saying they were going to they wanted to give me. So who's that out? Who's who's still who's still left? Mm. Winnipeg is the only team that we could talk to. So we took the number to them. They said, no, nah, we're not going to be able to afford that much. And so everybody's gone. Everybody's out. So I'm talking to my agent. It, it's weird. Like I, I was like, man, hold up. Did I not play well this year? What happened? And I'm like, oh no, I I I play well. So I am talking to my agent. He's like, you know what? I think it's time to retire. He said, because you told me you're low. He said, no one wanted to respect your low. There's not really anything here for you. People are going to try to get you lower than that if they're going to try to bring you in. And he said, it doesn't make sense for you to go to Canada with the exchange, yeah. playing for lower, taking care of your body the way you do playing the way you do for an 18 game season, regular season, uh for that much cheaper. So cuz at the end of the day, some of these teams were trying to give me um 60 to 70k less than what I made last year. Oh, they're trying to give you the vet minimum. Shit. The the vet minimum, you know what I'm saying? So I was sitting to myself like, "Hey, I've been thinking about this." And you know what's funny? I put in my head, I said Best case scenario, worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling my girlfriend, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there like kind of upset because I'm like, this is this is BS. This right. is not right. And I'm like, my worst case scenario came true. 